It is the Mark and the Mothership three string shovel guitar. Three string shovel. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice. That's my tone. Um, I'm just going to swing over here real fast and show you what my settings are. I'm using this little cube. And uh, let me show you what the settings are so that you can see that. These are the settings. Okay. So uh, check it out with your little cube. And uh, as you can see, this is what my sound is going to be like here. So uh, I'm just fooling around with the cube. That way uh, we're all on level footing, you know, so to speak, with our shovels. It's a G, 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 D, G. And uh, this is Spoonful, How to Play Spoonful. So uh, I'm going to go through the song a little bit the way I do it. This is a Howlin' Wolf tune. Um, this is how I play it. And then, uh, you know, you can kind of work around with what you want to do with this song. It's got a really cool little trick to it, and uh, so I really like it. <laughs> That's my interpretation of that tune. Um, so it's G, D, G. Okay, so open sounds like so. G sharp, A, B flat, C, C sharp, or <laughs> B. Start over. G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Then we run out of dots, you're just gonna have to guess. F. F sharp and G. And of course, these dots up here, these little screws, they correspond to this down here. So up here, somewhere around that would be a B flat and a C and a D. Somewhere up here is an E, F, and G again. Coming up here in this area, just letting you know you can... There it is. So you can find that other G. Use your ear. This is an instrument you really need to use your ear for. So I don't really want to tell you that right here is a B flat because it's not quite. You have a range. I tend to air sharp. I think um, you can. Your ear tells you flat. So low is flat. Your ear tends to hear flat as sour and sharp which is higher, less sour. And that's just my opinion about how to play a completely fretless guitar. Of course, you know, there's our strings. We don't have any frets. Um, so that's my opinion. Air to the side of sharp or higher um, when you're playing. Um, start using your ear and start finding the notes. So this song does a B-flat G, B-flat G thing where it goes. And I'm just playing this one string. But if I hit the others, I don't care because it, it still works, right? So I'm sliding into the B-flat. Kind of the 
the trick to this song is getting that slidey, snaky kind of wow, bow, wow, bow, 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 spoonful, spoonful, Okay, so we know G D G, and we know there's a G up here. And there it is. So everybody's different. These two uh, screws here don't exactly line up perfectly. There is no such thing as perfect on a fretless. You are either very, very close, but you could always be closer. So strive to get a little bit better. So what I want you to do is work on this and then work on coming up. this individual string I'm kind of attacking the string um, I'm pretending that the strings that go completely flat are kind of angled so that when I'm on it I'm this way and this way if you notice what I mean I kind of work it like a violin almost and I'm just pretending so if I'm on this first string I'm way out here and if I'm on the bass string you know, that's exaggerated, but that's how I that's how I think of it. It's an easy way to think about it. Um, you can use any size slide and on any finger for this if you like to. You know, that's fine. And it doesn't matter if you're off when you're on one string. It only matters that you're perpendicular to the strings when you're getting all three. Okay? But when you're on one... You can be off this because it's all about the roundness, you know, and uh, the way the way a slide works. So you can, right? It looks like I'm way off, but really, right? You can be within that range as long as you're on one string. Um, you can catch the middle string anytime, right? Um, so you don't need anything smaller. You can use them bigger. Um, I like to use a slide that'll capture all the strings. That's just me. Lots of guys use stubbies and they do really well with them. I tend to get them caught in the strings. But, you know, it's this is your your thing, right? I'm just showing you how to play the song. you got to use your equipment and your techniques and, and make it your own. So just come up to the B flat. <laughs> So I come up from A, I kind of start my approach. Right? So the little trick I do goes from G to F to D to C to B flat and down. That's what I like. So you got to imagine where the F is because we know, again, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E is right in here, and then there's nothing else. And you're just going to have to listen, right, for the F, F sharp, and G. So if I was going to go uh, E, start learning where those spa that space is within this set right here, right? It's somewhere in here, then the next note, and then the next note. So start learning. It's really good to know this stuff. So all I'm doing is coming down, I do the... do this vibrato I'm just wiggling my hand like this and you can do that with any of your strings you can go so you're just kind of wiggling your whole hand you're not worried about you're not trying to wiggle 
you know, with keeping your hands still, use your whole arm. Right? Use your whole arm. Get that technique down. It's really good to do it. Um, this is Uncle Mark with the shovel with a little spoonful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working through my little cube here. So we had a, like a multi-lesson with the cube and the slide and uh, using using bottlenecks like the old school or uh, buying fancy slides. I have a few fancy ones that I really, really like. Um, it depends on what you use. Uh, your hand, it doesn't matter. You could do it this way. <laughs> you know, you could come up underneath it and use it like a bar. Um, so that works too. You can also lay it flat if you want to play it this way. It's all up to you. It's Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string shovel guitar. Um, thank you so much for everything you do for me. In the show notes down there, I do have a, uh, a PayPal link. And it's a uh, support the mothership. A buck a show is what we ask. And uh, thank you so much. I know this isn't a show, but it's kind of a show. So uh, a buck a show is all we ask. And uh, the link is paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. And it's down in the show notes. It's easy to find. You click on it. It's pretty easy to deal with. It's works around. Also, um, thank you so much for sharing on social media. Getting the word out to the fretless people and all of the people you know that have these shovels and if you sell them, let them know that I've started this series. And uh, Anyway, thank you so much for everything you do for me. There we go. Shovel guitars.